All right, just arrived in the mail today, this box. And I'm pretty sure I know what's in it. The Sun's Oakley straight jackets, which I just ordered. So we're gonna unbox them and take a look at them and give them a once over. You know, I, I'm not a big fan of Oakley sunglasses, but I do like the straight jacket style. Straight jackets are my favorite Oakleys. So I decided to go ahead and get them. I got them on Oakley SI and it cost me around 115 bucks, including shipping. So, they came in a box like this. All right. And they come in this box. And here, probably an invoice, which it is. So what do we get here? No hard shell case, that's that's a bummer. But let's see, so we have a some kind of pamphlet here with uh, warranty information on it in multiple languages. It's not useful to me. But here are the glasses themselves. Come in a little bag, which I assume can also be used as a clean cloth. Nothing else in there. And uh, one of the temples is wrapped. And here's the thing with Oakley sunglasses. These things just feel real lightweight and cheap feeling. And that's one of the reasons that I'm not a big Oakley fan. Um, now I remember seeing these on Amazon and uh, you know you have a picture of it with a view where you can see this part right here and if you zoom in on that you can see at least on the Amazon one that it says made in USA and that's not there for this one. Oakley probably when they got bought out by Luxottica they probably moved manufacturing to China. So these are probably made in China, although I can't be for sure. Maybe they're made in Taiwan, but anyway, they're just real light feeling. Kind of a cheap plastic feel to them. The lenses appear to be plastic, um, but they still look decent. And. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't say that uh, these are necessarily bad sunglasses. Just cheap feeling, that's all. As far as stylish, they are decent looking. They have a nice style, and that's why I bought them mainly because of the style. I like this style. They're kind of similar to some other sunglasses that I have. Uh, my Wiley X bricks. These are similar to those. And uh, the Wiley X bricks seem to be a bit better made than these. But that's just mainly because of this lightweight, cheap plastic feel to these. I know the Wiley X bricks. I had three pair of those that I lost the first two pair and I bought a third pair. And the third pair was different than the first two pair. The third pair was lighter feeling and, and flimsier feeling than the first two pair, and I, I'm guessing Wiley X had made their sunglasses in the U.S. and then outsourced labor to China or some other shithole. And then new sunglasses just aren't the same quality as the old ones. And I'm guessing that if you could find these that were made in the U.S.A., some older pair, then they'll probably feel better. In these, but I will. These are polarized. That's a little sticker here. But I'll wear these around. 
and uh, try them out on the motorcycle, see how they perform. And by that I mean, how well do they work in keeping wind out of my eyes? Because you get wind in your eyes on the motorcycle and your eyes start watering. So, we'll see. I've already posted a video where I compared different sunglasses. Uh, Maui Gems, Wiley X, Persol. I can't think of what else. And, uh, you know, the Mountain Gems worked really well, and so did the Wiley X's. And I had Oakley gas cans. And, you know, the, the Oakley gas cans are kind of like this. They have a cheap plastic lightweight feel to them. Kind of like, kind of like shitty glasses that you would get at a 7-Eleven. And that's what these feel like. That's what these remind me of. So... That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it.